Morning. So we've got uh, another hike, we've got a big one today, Scarfell Pike. So we're starting off at Seathwaite campsite and uh, taking the corridor route all the way up to Scarfell Pike. Uh, we don't forget we're crossing Stoppy Bridge. Oh, okay. Stoppy Bridge and then after that, that is the option to go left or right and we'll be going to right side, won't we, up to Scarfell Pike. Yeah, I believe so. Sunny day, we're looking at probably about 20 something degrees a bit later on. So yeah, looking forward to it. As you can see, there's quite a lot of um, scrambling required for this section going up towards Scarfell Pike. Um, so something to bear in mind if you're looking to do this hike. Be very careful. Make sure you're wearing the right footwear. I definitely recommend poles um, to steady you keep you balanced um, yeah but the views will be worth it oh, so what do you think of it so far then cuz it's been quite challenging um, I think the heat has probably made it a little bit um, harder um, I don't think um, if the weather was that warm we'd be struggling as much so obviously taking to a fact that it's been hot extra fluid on board We've done what? So we've done, uh, we've done at least 1.5 litres already, I have. Um, we're on the second bottle now for myself. So yeah, blues is very important when it's really warm. And the last part of scrambling, getting up to Scarfell Pike now. You've got to be very careful there. Um, gloves, definitely. Well, I am anyway. Um, just in case you're cutting your hand on anything. Um, but yeah, apart from that, it's been brilliant. Brilliant views, enjoying it. Good stuff. And we'll... Uh... We'll carry on now. Uh, we're on a, a, a section that's, you know, a mixture of rock and grass, so it's a little bit easier. Um, but we'll see what what comes next and uh, update you on anything. But it's a good it's a good hike. Fabulous views. Brilliant views. We're we're taking the corridor route, so we're now off the corridor route uh, that's come from Seathwaite campsite and uh, we're on a section up to Scarfell Pike now, so on the last stretch. Yep, should we at the top shortly? See you later. We're at the top of Scarfell Pike in the distance there now. Um, and you've got these, um, these cans, with the, which are these little uh, mounds of rock that um, are there to guide you along. Uh, in case you look on a map and you're wondering what a cairn is. So that's a mound of rock, like that. And that one in front of us. We're edging closer and closer. Still on a rocky part here. Um, you really just need to take your time on this bit. Um, I can't emphasize that enough. You don't want to roll your ankle. Um, I'm actually wearing some hiking trainers, some trail trainers or whatever you want to call them. But I would probably recommend some high top walking boots just to give your, uh, give your ankles that bit more support. Um, so yeah, um, as you can see, we're really close now. The top is right there. So we're going to go down a little section, then right up to the top. And then we would have completed the climb. And then we're going to come back the same way. So it's a in and out uh, route this, not a circular, taking the corridor path.
Well, we've made it to the top of Scarfell Pike and uh, boy, is it worth it. It's so worth it. Loads of people up here, which, you know, I think that's great. It's great to see loads of people out. People with their drones, people with their families, not in, not in that order. Families are more important than drones. Um, absolutely brilliant. So good to be at the top. Wow, so busy. <sighs> nice little community of people up here. On our way back down now, and uh, the poles are really taking on a lot of the hard work. And it, it feels a lot easier coming down. And I think from a psychological point of view, it feels easier because you know you've done the peak and you're on your way back. Just taking it easy, don't wanna, don't wanna be stupid and try and speed back. What I did notice at the top of the peak where there were a lot of people was uh, people wearing all sorts of different things. Um, just normal trainers, um, shorts that you would wear to the beach. Um, but I'd hardly recommend just wearing the right gear really because you're not always going get, to get a good day like this and you just want to be prepared have the right layers have the right footwear and uh, just come with plenty of fluids so maybe four liters two liters each would do it uh, on a warm day like this but anyway I'm just gonna enjoy the views now Careful here. I'll rock it up for you a bit so you can. Okay, so we're on the home straight now. Woo, tough walk. Very tough walk today. Yeah, we've been out uh, since 10 o'clock. At what time? Uh, yeah, I would say it was what, just after 10, I think. Yeah. So yeah, that's 10 o'clock. And it's six o'clock now. So that was a tough walk. Um, long, lots of uh, challenging sections, uh, but very, very much worth it. So yeah. Oh. So yeah, really, re really good hike, and uh, can't wait to edit the video. See you later.